Welcome to the morning coffee. Only it ain't morning. It's about 3.30 in the afternoon. Uh, but I figured I'd go ahead and put one up. Why not? Uh, Anson and his father-in-law came over from uh, Ivy's uh, Family Factotum. I'm sure if you've seen the video on Dogman channel, you'll see. It did not work out. Wanting to put the car apart where I originally planned. We got everything squared up and stringed out and put the light string levels on. And I'm going to tell you, it was about almost two feet in the one corner. I mean, it would have just required so much work and so many loads of dirt brought in. It's not worth it. Even though it doesn't look that it's really not, you know, that it's downhill, it is quite a bit. And so we moved it up by the, uh, you just go watch the video. We ended up moving it up by the screen patio. Right in front of the screen patio. It's pretty darn level there. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. I was thinking maybe that the French drain would interfere with it. But it really... We were able to squeeze it in. Uh, where it didn't even... It's not going to affect the, the French drain at all. So that's where it'll be going. And man, that was a whole lot less work. I tell you. So... But I figured I'd go ahead and do another... Put a coffee up. I want to try to get... Uh, video up on this channel every day as well because I could use the money for one thing <laughs> Anyway, somebody had asked me If I would give my opinion on what I thought of electric cars Well, I mean they're cool. I Understand, you know, I can see the the concept of having something like that I mean they're doing the e-bikes now and but cars guys we are you know they got the Teslas they've got the char there's there's not one place I see in this town that charge an electric car the infrastructure is not in place for electric cars yet it's going to be many more years plus I would not want to have a vehicle that's going to only allow me to drive for a couple of hours and then I got to stop sit there and charge it and you have to take a route specific to where your charging stations are. Now, I imagine, you know, guys, I have not been in a big city too much in 10 years. Uh, I haven't looked for those things, those charging stations. I haven't seen any in Fort Smith, although I'm sure they got them. Uh, they're just not out as many of them out there as there needs to be. And look what happened uh, when they had that blizzard up back east, you know. Those cars are not built to handle extremely cold weather and maybe the technology will be there in um, you know 20 years <laughs> five years maybe we already have it it's just too expensive to to make it worthwhile um, then you got the oil industry they're gonna fight it every step of the way and they always have why do you think we don't have they, they have invented cars that will run on water the guy disappeared Okay, you, you know what's involved there. They're going to fight. That is big business, oil. So, don't look for everybody to have. I don't care what the president says. Nobody's going to, and nobody can afford to go out and buy a brand. Not everybody can go out and buy a brand new car. You know, so gas vehicles will are going to be on the road for a long, long time. Unless they flat out outlaw them. And until the technology and the infrastructure gets better, I don't see it happening, you know. And I know that they can make those cars to where, uh, I forget the word, but as they're rolling, it will also charge the battery. But still, they're, you're, you're not going to compete with a gas or a diesel truck. Uh, that monstrosity that Tesla built, that's supposed to be called a truck, that is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. I would never want one of them. <laughs> but nobody here is going to be able to own an electric car for a long time. Because, you know, and I understand you can put those charging ports in your house. Uh, why go through all that expense? I mean, right now, we've been using gas cars for 100 years. Uh, when maybe when the technology gets better, then we can buy electric cars and, you know. But, here's another, here's another situation. Where do you think those batteries are made? Or will be made? They're not going to be made in this country. They're not made in this country now. 
Uh, I don't, I just haven't really researched it enough to know. And I don't really care. Because I'm never going to buy one. Well, I say never. May not have a choice one day. But until they come and uh, confiscate my vehicles, I'm going with gas or diesel. So that's my thing on that. And I don't see how that... What happens to these batteries when they go bad? You know, they don't last forever. A gas engine, you can make run as long... Look at Cuba. They're still driving the 1950s models cars. They, they've, be, they've got some of the best auto mechanics in the world in Cuba because they, they can't import any. And I, I think they can get Russian. But have you ever seen Russian cars? The Russians have never been good at making cars. Uh, over there now, uh, if you watch any videos on YouTube where people are over in Russia, they don't have any pickups. Nobody has a pickup, and they all drive BMWs or Mercedes, all German-made cars. Uh, but they have no trucks. Uh, I've never seen any. And they're, they're importing all their cars. And Russia has never been good at building a car. Probably never will. They haven't been good at building hardly anything. Uh, yeah, there's a few things that I wouldn't mind having that, you know, a few pew-pews they make. But other than that, yeah. So, nope. I say no to the electric cars. I wouldn't be against having one. I wouldn't, wouldn't mind saving the money, the quietness of them. But, you know, taking a long trip, I wouldn't trust one. You know, you, you're, what do you do if, if the battery suddenly dies and you're in the middle of Nebraska somewhere? They can't bring you electricity. At least I don't think they can. So, I don't know, man. Don't know. Not gonna worry about it. It's a long ways from being in this town. That's for sure. We didn't even have a car dealer here. Oh, yeah. So now we just wait for the carport to come. I can't wait. Uh, it's in a pretty good spot. Actually, for the wind and all that now, it's in a better spot. The house is blocking it. Uh, that's where I normally cut all my lumber. Anyway, there's electric there. I could hang a light in there if I want. Um, so, guess finding out that that spot wasn't going to work isn't all bad. And uh, that's probably the last structure I'll be putting up here. I can't think of anything else I might need. But there's just only a limited amount of room. I don't want buildings peppered all over the place. I don't need it. Uh, I still got the one building back there. I haven't finished yet. I uh, just need to wait till it warms up a little bit so I can get that mudding done. We should have some of them days coming up. Uh, but this time of year, you can't, you know, you can't plan on nothing because you could turn ugly fast. And so far, February is where we at, about halfway through. February's been pretty good. So, hopefully we don't have any more of that ice or snow, although they are calling, when I looked last, for ice in the morning on Monday, they're not bringing the carport until later, and it's going to be warm that day. So, you could have 40, 50 degree temperature swings from morning till afternoon here during this time of year. But I need to get and get some dirt. Some I could probably just go get it out of one of my things. My soil is pretty good looking this year, uh, and get my seeds started. I had those little pots, I'll put them in. I think it might be a good garden year, but you never know. All right, guys, we'll keep this one short. And uh, hopefully I'll be back with you in the morning. Uh, I had to get up first thing and go to town and get a load of gravel. So I didn't have time. So then I get in there to take a shower. I get all my clothes off and the power goes out. And I think it was out 15 minutes. And I guess it went out again. They're replacing a pole somewhere down there. And it went out again while we were out there working. So when that happens, man, you got to go around, reset everything. And my security system, I got to put in my password. I got a couple of clocks I got to reset. The stove. Otherwise, everything's flashing. So hopefully they got it fixed, man. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Happy trails.